everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome please hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more magical videos today we are going to be doing another geek gear unboxing just here this is the december box so this is now officially 12 months i've had a whole year of geek gear this is the last one of the year and i am very excited i'm hoping we're going to have a few christmas goodies in here um even though i know this isn't a christmas themed box i'm hoping we'll get a few little bits so without further ado let's get started <music> Guess what I'm groaning at? Okay, right. Let's let's get that out of the way. Let's just get it out of the way, and then I can look forward to everything else. I am really getting sick of chess sets, as we know, because I moan about them every time we get them. I don't know which one this is actually. Put the picture on the front. I can get into it. So I'm not 100% sure. I think this is the king. Um, this is definitely the piece that drops its sword um, in the Philosopher's Stone. So I would imagine that this is the king. Um, looks more like a, a knight, really, other than the, the fact that it obviously hasn't got a horse. But, you know, um, it looks like a soldier type thing. But I think this is the king. It's lovely. I'm just sick of getting them. So I'm going to put that back. I'll put it on my shelf in a minute. Um, but yeah, just stop, just stop them, please, stop them. I don't, I'm trying to think what pieces we haven't had. I don't think we've had a queen yet, so that might still be to come. Okay, ooh, there's another wand. Right, we have a white t-shirt. We've had a lot of white t-shirts recently. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. So this is the ice sculpture centrepiece from the Yule Ball. That's really nice. That is kind of Christmassy. So it has got that Christmassy vibe. But I don't think, again, I like these kind of T-shirts where you wouldn't necessarily know straight away um, that it was Harry Potter. I think that's beautiful. I really like that. Um, yeah, so that's really, really nice. Currently, I my size is ladies extra large, but I think I'm going to swap to a unisex extra large purely because these female ones are fitted and I find that when they're fitted, it is a little bit tight. So I have put weight on as well. Um diet after christmas but yeah really like that really nice t-shirt okay all right let's have a look at the pin oh no this isn't the pin this is a coin Ooh. okay Ooh. oh oh well that wasn't what i expected at all okay so this side looks like the ravenclaw coin so ages ago we had a coin that was Gryffindor and it had the lion on the front and then on the back unlike this one it had the traits of a Gryffindor person on the back and I love this coin and I keep going on and on and on about the fact Is this the coin? no but thank you I will borrow that for a minute um and I went on and on and on about the fact that they Geek Gear needed to do another one for each house. Then we got this one that Edward's just very kindly given me. And this one has got a snake on the front and it's got Salazar Slytherin on the back. So this is clearly supposed to be, and it is green, this is clearly supposed to be the Slytherin coin. I am disappointed that they didn't put the traits around it like they did with the Gryffindor one. I think that's a shame. This one, however, is puzzling me. And if you can help me, then please leave a message below. Obviously, we've got the golden eagle on the front with lovely, with the blue colour. Although it's quite purpley blue. Maybe it's just the light in here. Um, 
but obviously the blue colour. But then on the other side, we've got a book. I'm trying to, I should put my glasses on. I'm trying to see if there's anything important on that book, but I can't really see what's on the book. But I don't, I, I'm assuming it's because they're learned, that they're into, that they're wise, that they're into learning and knowledge. That's the only link I can think of as to why we've got a book. But that's a bit of a reach. Um, yeah, so I, I'm glad that they're doing each house. So we've just got my house left now, the Hufflepuff one. I just wish they'd done like they did with the Gryffindor one with the traits around it, because that was really nice. Okay, let's just... So now we've got the pin. Ah, I like this one. So we have had... I think probably only two pins that I've really liked over the over the 12 months. And this is this month's one. And this is um, what looks like Merlin, the wizard. And it says underneath Merlin's beard, which is kind of a, a, a phrase that they use in the world of Harry Potter quite regularly instead of well saying a naughty word i try to use this quite frequently I, I, I very often forget but merlin's beard that's a good badge okay like that one okay oh gosh oh there's all sorts in here so i've got a random um i've got a badge pack um so these are just random badges um this is from the wizarding world so i've got da badge that's quite cool like that one we've got the uh oh god i need to wear my glasses next time ministry of magic the hogwarts uh logo we've got the deathly hallows randomly we've got a ravenclaw badge um but yeah they're fine okay um oh I'm quite excited by this. There's all sorts in here. There's a wand. Okay, so this is a... Is this a book? Oh, no, it's a diary. <gasps> now, we've had quite a few notebooks. Well, I say quite a few. We've had two or three notebooks this year, I think. And I love a notebook. But this is something a little bit different. And I like this. Oh, it's nice. Look, it's all foiled. <gasps> like magic. And it's got this lovely... Um, elastic band to keep it closed i'm going to take this off it's gonna it's got all of the huff uh, all of the different houses on so we've got the ravenclaw we've got slytherin we've got um gryffindor the lion we've got badger for hufflepuff but then we've each got the horcrux as well so we've got the cup from oh no oh no yeah oh Okay, so we haven't got all the Horcruxes. So we've got the Slytherin Locket. We've got the Hufflepuff Cup. We've got a red letter. I'm not sure what that's for. And then we've got the Hogwarts sign. Um, so what, what's wrong with the diadem? Why couldn't we have the diadem on there? Oh, anyway. So inside we have a week to view. I don't know if you can see that. We have a week to view um, diary. Um, yeah, like that really like that uh, it's got a little thing in the front to put your name and oh it's got some really cool pictures inside as well that's really funky i really like that i'm using that love that oh that will not stay on there we go right okay as always i always save the one till last so let's go for the artwork so, artwork's been mixed this year. We started off brilliantly, then we went through a real dud phase. And we've been on a good roll lately, so I'm hoping for a good one. We're in a frame. We haven't had a frame for a while, I don't think. Okay, so. <gasps> Love things like this. So, this is a Geek Gear exclusive. This is a new electric shock shake. Wheezes. Weasley, Weasley's, Wheezes, Wheezes. I can never say that. 
anyway that is one of their posters to advertise one of their um items i love things like these these kind of replicas these are my favorite pieces of artwork to get um really like that and then last of all we have finally our wand so let's have a look we have had so many wands recently i'm wondering whether this is going to be a thing that they're going to start always including a wand in each box okay hmm. whose wand is this intriguing wand? it's not it's just one of their own creations okay um hmm yeah i'm not loving this one i would normally get very excited about their ones but i'm not loving this mm, a bit disappointed with this one geeky i think the paint the color is a bit boring um the only detail really is these little kind of dotty parts with the copper on um but really it's the ends that i don't like i mean that's really awkward to hold but also because it's like the same on both ends to wave it it doesn't i kind of feel like i need a point at the end yeah i'm not keen on that one geek gear sorry um normally love you ones but that's that's a good for me good ones. so it says it's an eisen eisen i'm gonna go for eisen um this is uh 13 and three quarter inches it is oh the core is coal very odd wood is ancient ash so it sounds quite cool but yeah i'm not not loving that it looks kind of blue in the picture which actually is she's actually probably better but yeah i don't like that one sorry geek gear okay right so last of all then let's just check our wizards checklist this is the december one the last few they've sent me have been the wrong ones so this is the first one i've had in a while so uh number one we had the school ball ice sculpture t-shirt liked that the license and exclusive weasley print yes like that the license and exclusive pin badge sets fine uh for the unique wand exclusive mm -mm, don't like that one at all number five the license exclusive 2022 hogwarts house diary love that really pleased with that one uh six wizardry oh queen chess piece the queen some um, i would not have said that was the queen that did not look like a queen chess piece not an expert but it didn't um number seven wizardry house coin blue like that um and exclusive monthly pin merlin's beard pin yes like that yeah this is quite a good one um and actually i also know who the social spotlight person is this time so this is a lady called kaylee christensen um and she has a youtube channel um so it's nice to see her on there so well done congratulations um so yeah all in all really pleased with this box um i think the only kind of slightly christmasy item was the t-shirt um but that's okay because we had a lot of christmasy stuff in the last item and it, like i say it's not technically themed so there's no expectation that it has to be a christmas themed box so um so i hope you liked this video um and i will see you very very soon for another one and if i don't see you before then uh, have yourself a very merry christmas bye now <laughs>